See, the human foot has 26 bones, 33 joints, and more than 100 muscles, ligaments, and tendons. So it's safe to say that when your feet hurt, everything hurts. Joining us in the studio with tips on how to keep your feet in shape is Dr. Charles Cables with Foot Specialist of South Mississippi. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So we're in South Mississippi. I guess we'll start with diabetic foot pain because that sure. seems to be a big issue. He's my doctor as well, so we had kind of had to talk about this before we started down this road. So t let's talk about that first because that seems to be a big issue here. Sure. Well, diabetes affects everything in the foot. It affects the muscles, the tendons, the bones, the nerves, and the vasculature. And a lot of times as a podiatrist, one of the first things we see is numbness and tingling in people's feet, which can be an early sign of diabetes. And sometimes we actually help diagnose diabetes before the primary care. So a lot of times though, with that increased blood sugar, it eats away at the nerve covering, causing these abnormal sensations. So people tend to have blisters or sores that they don't even aren't aware of. So it's very important to make sure you keep that blood sugar under control and how it affects the foot. So the, if you're if you're noticing these symptoms, it's it's probably good to get right in to see a doctor immediately because you Absolutely. catching this early might help. Right, early prevention is you know always the best key. So even if you're not able to get into your primary care, you get into your local podiatrist. When you have any sort of foot issues, we can always help to assess the situation, and we work very well with the healthcare team with your primary care. So uh, we're, we're, heel pain is another thing. I, just in like assessing what I'm doing right now, I'm kind of leaning back on my heel. So is heel pain a very common thing that you deal with? It actually is. According to the Mayo Clinic, about 22 million people suffer from heel pain per year. So it's one of the number one things we treat. And then there's always plantar fasciitis, which uh, as a many years as a performer, that was really something that I, I plagued me for a long time. It's not an issue really anymore, but that's another really big, you know, foot pain problem. Right. It's actually the number one heel pain uh, cause of heel pain. Heel pain could be a stress fracture. You can have other issues, but plantar fasciitis really is where that inflamed ligament attaches to the bone itself and causes a lot of discomfort and pain, which really can be debilitating. So let's, we have a video that we're going to pop up on the screen right now. You were actually featured in a magazine that's coming out this month. Here it is here. Tell us about this. Yes, this is uh, Southern Mississippi Living, um, and we're focusing on foot health this month in the uh, month of April. And heel pain, again, like we just mentioned, 22 million people suffer from this per year, and it's a very chronic issue. It's typically treated with oral anti-inflammatories, injections, custom orthotic. Obviously, shoe gear is number one. The shoe is the foundation of the house, right? So when the shoe is off, everything is off. However, there are even more advanced treatments for this because it really can be chronic. All right, so you looks like you brought uh, something with you. Tell us about this. Yeah, yes. So one of the newer uh, alternatives, and really this is more for chronic heel pain. So people that do not respond well to conservative care tend to sometimes need uh, a surgical procedure. It used to be that we would do an open fasciotomy, which was really a uh, bigger incision, longer recovery, uh, and pretty painful surgery. But now we have uh, a new advanced procedure that we're doing. This is a, a small probe. It's the Tenjet procedure. So you can see that this is a very small incision right it's about two stitches and under ultrasound guidance we can actually debride away the damaged tissue leaving healthy tissue which leads to a higher success rate with a quicker recovery that's i mean that's key because a lot of times in surgery it's it's not really what you're going in to fix. It's all of the recovery that it took you to get in to get in the first place. Exactly. So traditional fasciotomy, we're really just releasing that fascia, damaging good tissue and bad. Nowadays, we can, with ultrasound guidance, I actually can see the inflamed tissue. We can target exactly where it is, right on the heel bone, and really debride the damaged tissue, leaving that healthy tissue, which leads to a quicker recovery. Tell us where your office is. 999 North Halstead Road, Ocean Springs, foot specialists of South Mississippi. And so if you have any heel pain, Dr. Charles Capelis is the way to go. I, I can give him two thumbs way up. So thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you.